I'm Samuels. I work for the company. We think we may have found her, Amanda. We get to shut the book. Ripley. Hi guys, I'm Roger Knowles, and welcome to the Always Games TV news update. First off, I just want to say sorry for the lack of content on Aliens Isolation of late. It's been a busy few weeks, I'm still trying to play catch up, so I'm really sorry for that. So as most of you probably have heard by now, but we have finally got a release date for Alien Isolation, and it'll be hitting the shelves on October the 7th. The announcement was made live on stage during the Alien Isolation panel at EGX Res, where a demo of the game was also playable. The demo was praised very highly by fans that were lucky enough to give it a try. Creative Assembly's Alistair Hope said, We couldn't be happier to finally announce the date for Alien Isolation. The reaction we have seen so far has been simply incredible, from the screams and the shrieks to the cold sweats and racing hearts. It's the Alien game that we've always wanted to play and we can't wait to let everyone get their hands on it this fall. Creative Assembly have also released a new dev diary titled The Sound of Alien Isolation. Let's take a look. Sound is a massive component of any horror experience, and that's definitely the case with Alien. We wanted to be as authentic as possible when it came to recreating the sound of the original music, and so we put together our own orchestra from the best musicians that we knew around London, including some who had actually played on the original recordings with Jerry back in the 1970s. The most exciting aspects of working on the sound for Alien Isolation was that we were given access to the original sound recordings from the first film. 5A, section 8. We were very lucky because we were able to find some very old recordings which showed the process by which the sound designers created a lot of those sounds and we were able to recreate that process as accurately as we could. We have this really unpredictable, clever, adaptive alien and we needed to build a sound engine that could help support that. We couldn't just have a mix that was static. We needed a score that could change and that could adapt based on what the player is doing and based on what the alien was doing. <laughs> if the player is hiding from the alien, the sound engine will know that and it will adapt, it will make it more tense. The idea is to drive an emotional reaction from the player. In our game, sound is critical because when you're hiding in the dark, what you can hear might just be the key to your survival. Now I have to admit, that last bit scared the hell out of me, and that's just with a short video with someone else playing. If that few seconds can actually do that to me, God help me when the final game is released. All the way through this dev diary, I couldn't help myself from nodding. Sound is vital in most forms of media and entertainment, but when it comes to horror, I personally think it's the most important tool that can be used to scare people. 
Have you ever, as a kid, muted a film when it's getting to a scary bit? It becomes less scary. Creative Assembly are taking this very seriously indeed. I can already picture myself playing, and what will probably scare me the most will be the bumps and the groans of the ship, because I won't know if it is the ship, or if it's the alien creeping up on me. Just on a quick side note as well, guys, the Alien Isolation team at Creative Assembly have created their own podcast for the game. So you'll have a couple of developers on there chatting about some of their experiences and some of the choices that they've made for the game. Now, admittedly, there isn't anything on these podcasts which we don't already know. Um, it's their own podcast, so they're not going to let anything be said that they don't want us to hear. But it's worth taking a listen, and if you're looking forward to the game and you're a big Alien fan, then yeah, I'd say give it a listen. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It's for the soundcloud.com, and like I said, there's two podcasts in already. Uh, so yeah, give it a listen. Alien Isolation will be released on the 7th of October this year on PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to keep up to date with the Alien Isolation news, please subscribe, and more videos will be coming soon. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and check out our website, www.alwaysgamestv.com. I'm Roger Knowles, this is Always Games TV, we'll see you next time. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. We think we may have found her, Amanda. We get to shut the book. Ripley.